This is my coloring book interface and it is specifically designed towards students. Um, for example, the coloring page is not like most coloring books. This coloring interface makes use of diagrams seen across many science textbooks and academic settings. Um, this interface supports many diagrams such as the human body, um, the world map, and the like. Um, and the diagram is used so that users can correspond a region in the diagram with a label. So the user can pick a color through the coloring palette here and choose a label. And once the label is chosen, the cell wall is corresponded to blue and the user can try to find the cell wall in the following diagram. So if the user correctly associates the color and the color of the label of cell wall to the actual cell wall on the diagram, a pop-up shows up showing that the user correctly defined this region with the correct label. And this is a reward system so that even though the user is studying for maybe a test or just for knowledge, the user can have positive reinforcement through pop-ups pop like this and it can associate um, coloring with a positive reward. So after clicking OK, this region is colored blue and the user then knows that this region is correctly defined by the label cell wall. But for example, if I choose red and I click on chromatin and I click a region that is not chromatin, such as the cell wall again, then it, the pop-up does not show up. So even though the user did get it wrong, there is no negative reinforcement. So to um, kind of go along the flow of positive reinforcement and not discourage users from using the interface. So the users can choose from multiple colors down here and then choose a corresponding label and then choose the actual part in the diagram for that label. So which is right here. And then the pop-up will show up and then the corresponding region will be colored. And this is the main interaction that this interface supports. And it is, um, it mimics kind of a flashcard, but it is also a visual representation of what the label is and what part of the region in the diagram is. Taking a closer look into the different features, labels, buttons, and tools. Um, so just in general, on the left side, we have the labels. And if the user selects a color, then the user can also select a label corresponding to whatever they want the color to represent. So if I press on chromatin, the selected label is shown by having the button appear darker than the rest. So the user can be aware of which label they are using right now. And here we have the tools, which is the fill-in option, which we are using, and the eraser and the home, which is the main interface that corresponds to whether they want to choose um, a human body diagram or other diagrams that are supported by the interface. And below is the color palette. And once the user clicks on the color that they want to choose, so if I click on this color, then it disappears so that the user can now freely pick a label, nucleus, and then the color reappears so that the user can choose to pick another label they want to correspond a color to. Then we have the feature that shows what this diagram actually represents. So this diagram is the plant cell and right below we have the diagram. So this design implementation was inspired mostly by the user studies that we conducted during cycle one. 
um, most of the subjects that we observed told us that even though coloring books and coloring pages are very accessible, either physically or through mobile or web-based applications, it was very rare for the users to use these coloring books because either they didn't have the time to um, color a page or they just did not associate coloring books with something that they wanted to do um, with their spare time or with their age. They didn't think that they were young enough to take advantage of a coloring book, either for stress relieving purposes or for, for extracurricular purposes. So I created this coloring book that is kind of the bridge between an artistic outlet and academic tool. Um, this interface aims to satisfy the target audience who are students who want to learn and be practical and productive while using this application yet still feel like they have a positive reinforcement through these pop-ups or through these coloring settings, they could have fun even though they are studying. So with this design implementation, I hope to widen the audience that do use coloring books and make it useful for them to use them in the future and incentivize them to continue using them for either studying, for fun, or just to spend time.